ഹലോ എവരി വൺ വെൽക്കം ടു ദ ചാനൽ കെ ടി യു ബേസിക് ലേണിംഗ് മെക്കാനിക്കൽ എഞ്ചിനീയറിംഗ് ആഫ്റ്റർ യു വാച്ച് ദിസ് വീഡിയോ ഇഫ് യു ലൈക്ക് ഇറ്റ് ലൈക്ക് ദ വീഡിയോ ഷെയർ ഇറ്റ് സബ്സ്ക്രൈബ് ദ ചാനൽ ആൻഡ് ഡോൺ ഫോർഗെറ്റ് ടു പ്രസ് ദ ബെൽ ഐക്കൺ എം ഇ ത്രീ സിക്സ്റ്റി എയ്റ്റ് മാർക്കറ്റിംഗ് മാനേജ്മെൻറ്റ് സോ ദ ടോപ്പിക് വി ആർ ഗോയിങ് ടു കവർ ഇൻ ദിസ് വീഡിയോ ഈസ് മാർക്കറ്റ് ടാർഗറ്റിംഗ് ആൻഡ് പ്രൊഡക്റ്റ് പൊസിഷനിങ് സോ ലെറ്റ് എസ് ഫൈൻ ദ ഇൻട്രൊഡക്ഷൻ about what is this market targeting is in addition to the segmentation the marketing team need to carry out several other steps so in the first part we have mentioned about the segmentation so after the segmentation the next step is market targeting so the marketing team has to carry out several other steps to consider the segmentation the targeted segments are selected after the proper evaluation of each segment so the segments the targeted the segments to be targeted are selected after evaluating each and each segments should identify the sales potential and profit potential of each segment so this marketing team has a great role to play to identify the sales potential of each segment and also the profit potential of each segment that is how much product can be sol- uh, sold in a particular segment and also how much profit can be attained from each segment has to be identified by the sales team should examine the alternative possibilities so also when uh, when this particular segments are targeted should understand the targeting method of this uh, each and each segments and also they have to find out each uh, alternatives for each steps must look at each market as distinct market opportunities that is the marketing team has to look on to the each market as a distinct market opportunities because we have a lot of different varieties of pro- uh, products so the uh, marketing team has to consider uh, that particular thing in the mind about the different products and they have to think about distinct marketing opportunity in segment evaluate the company resources and try to match with the resources and the market segment they have to the market team has to evaluate the company resources what all what all resources the company have and they have to look on to the segment whether it is matched with the resources and market segments the next is evaluate company's product characteristics and try to match with the product characteristics and market segments that is uh last we last point we said about the uh, mark company's resources the same way the company's product characteristics as also to be uh, considered and it has also to be compared with the com- uh, with the uh, segments product characteristics and market segment high growth segments that is mainly premium products are taken into consideration so normally while uh, the market targeting has been done normally the marketing team will always look on to the premium products that is high growth segments the next consideration is given to the profitable products again the profitable products means it will be premium products itself because uh, the premium product will be uh, sold at high rate so the company will be getting maximum profit in the premium product than comparing to the regular products so a consideration will be always given that is market targeting consideration will be always given to those products which are premium products further analysis to be done by the firm to understand whether the segment is accessible to it so anal- analysis to be done whether the firm understand whether the segment is accessible to it so when we are targeting uh, with this premium products uh, the uh, the marketing team should analyze it analyze very well that whether that particular segment is accessible or not coming into the final point that is to identify or to analyze on whether the segment is considered a sizable segment that is whether that particular segment uh, can take over these premium products so that whether they are sizable whether they are attractive because if they are uh, taking the premium products only they are considered to be attractive uh, in the minds of the marketing teams and profitable and accessible so these are these are all the market uh market uh, targeting points so next is the target market strategies so there are three types of target market strategies one is undifferentiated marketing then differentiated marketing and concentrated marketing so let's go through what is this undifferentiated marketing is that is they treat market as an aggregate that is they will treat market as a particular segment it design a product that appeals to all buyers so the market people those those people design a particular product which is appeal to all the buyers it depends on mass channel mass advertising and a universal theme since a particular type of product is only available for a mass uh, consumers so it, it always this type of marketing always depends on the mass channel 
mass advertising and universal theme that is the you the theme for that particular product will be universal that is it will be identical to every people now mass marketing technique allows the firm to enjoy media discount so since that there is no varieties of products available and only one particular product is available for the all the customers so this advertisement and other expenses will be very less so mass marketing technique uh, allows the firm to enjoy the media discount so there will be a lot of discount in this case of uh, media expenses etc the absence of market segmentation and planning leads to lower cost of marketing research and product management so in this type of uh, undifferentiated marketing the cost uh, to be uh, uh, spent for this marketing research and product management will be very less since there is no need of in market segmentation and planning so thereby uh, undifferentiated marketing uh, the main advantages for undifferentiated marketing is that cost is very less so the cost to spend for this market research and product management is very less the second one is differentiated marketing the firm decide to operate in two or more segments in a market that is they they are not not at all focusing on uh, one particular segment they are focusing on two or more segments they design separate product marketing programs for each segment and for each segment they are designing a separate product and marketing programs many firms move towards differentiated marketing strategy so it was earlier uh, uh, earlier it was undifferentiated marketing that is a mass marketing concept was there now the people has moved to different types of markets different types of product and they are handling different types of segments that is the same time because of uh, to increase the sales and increase the uh, brand uh, brand production so they have to move forward to the differentiated marketing now it shows the trend of multiple product multiple trade channel and media so as i earlier said uh, there is a multiple type of products and multiple trade channels and medias will be there so the intention is to create more total sales than undifferentiated marketing. So in the case of the undifferentiated marketing, the total sales will be very less. But when it comes to this differentiated marketing, when a firm is doing a differentiated marketing, its total sales, uh, when it uh, when the whole sales is uh, accounted, the total sales will be more than that of the undifferentiated marketing. Now the differentiated marketing technology increases cost of doing business. So differentiated the 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 disadvantage of differentiated marketing marketing when compared to the undifferentiated is that in the undifferentiated the cost is less but here the cost is high now the last one is the concentrated marketing so apply when companies resources are limited so this type of marketing is applied when the resources of the company is very limited the firms goes behind the large share of one or few sub markets so the firm will be looking on to those segments with some a uh, few uh, few sub markets or one or few sub markets it tries to attain good market position in few areas eh? they will be only concentrating in the few areas to get a good market high risk compared to other marketing there is a lot of risk is there because the particular firm a, uh, this particular firm is only concentrating on a particular product and they are uh, they are only concentrating on that product so what happens is that when a competitors enter into this uh, same type of product then there is, there is a high risk that is the next point entering of a competitor to the same segment may lead to failure of this marketing many company not prefer this method and they try to diversify in several market segments so many companies are not preferring this type of concentrated marketing because uh, there is a high risk is there so they always uh, diversify in several market segments okay next is the uh, selecting a market targeting strategy so there are different factors for selecting a market targeting strategy there are mainly five factors the first factor is the company resources of course uh, when we select a marketing strategy first we have to think about what the company have what are the resources of the company so that is a major first factor so the second factor is the product homogeneity that is uh, the same type of products are more more selected for the targeting purpose so the third factor is the product stage in the life cycle so when a product is introduced by a firm into the uh, into the market what happens is that the first uh, first interest of the firm will be to having an undifferentiated marketing strategy so as the product got in interested to the customers what happens is that the next next type of marketing strategy will be used by the firm will be the concentrated type because 
because this concentrated type uh, because the firm will be concentrating on that particular product to be targeted to the customers and the last most least as the uh, as the product got uh, it's an interest in the customers mind they will be planning for a differentiated marketing strategy so this is the third factor factor of the product stage in the life cycle so in the life cycle it has a stage like undifferentiated then concentrated then differentiated now the fourth factor is the market homogeneity so we discussed about the product homogeneity same way market homogeneity so the fifth factor is a competitive marketing strategy competitive marketing strategy means the same uh, the same type of products will be introduced by the other competitors so the firm has to maintain a strategy to be in the market so these are the different five different factors uh, which are taken as a strategy for the uh, market targeting so the next topic is product positioning so you can see the two different figures of chocolate as well as some of the car companies and you can see the those car as well as the, those chocolates are positioned so based on different categories for the case of chocolate you can see in the right figure they are positioned based on the quality and price whereas in the case of car they are positioned in the four different factors based on the four different factors like aggressive design performance elegance and comfort so product positioning comes after product segmentation sorry market segmentation market targeting then comes the product positioning so according to david ogley's statement the result of your campaign depends less on how we write your advertising than on how your product is positioned so he states clearly that a less importance has to be given for the advertise and more importance has to be given to the product position and if the product position is accurate then the marketing team don't want to think about this advertisement uh, strategies so certain brands and companies occupy dominant position in the consumer's mind so consumer always purchases those products which they really uh, depends on and those products and those brands always be in the mind always be in their mind so positioning is the outcome of a conscious strategy of marketing so position has become an outcome of a conscious strategy of marketing marketing team have to think about the positioning right from the product idea stage so the marketing team has to uh, has to think about this particular uh, positioning method at the time of the product idea stage so when the product uh, they develop right from the right this right from the first stage of product development they have to think that oh, to which category of consumers it has to be placed so that particular steps has to be done at the initial stage itself the positioning is a battle or capturing a place in the minds of the prospect so uh, there there are different brands and the different marketing teams they have to work hard as a battle to capture the place in the minds of the prospect so even after the positioning sometimes product undergo reposition for increasing the sales so even after if the marketing team after positioning they think that it's successful so sometimes it go wrong sometimes it go wrongs with some uh, uh, some small small errors may happen so they have to and the sales will definitely go down so to increase the sales sometimes the marketing team has to reposition the positioning is a technique which the marketing team has to employ with a lot of care and pre planning so a lot of care and pre planning is very much required for the positioning process so the market team has to work very hard pre plan a lot of care they have to give to position the product after positioning a product the product itself is committed to particular decision and situation so after the pre planning uh, process uh, completed they place the product uh, into a particular position so after placing the product has a guarantee i mean it is committed to a particular decision and situation so if the position fails the product suffers heavy damage so if the position is not done accurately the product definitely suffers heavy damages it is easy to reposition a successful product but it is difficult to retrieve and reposition a wrongly positioned product so it's very easy for a, a successful product to reposition but it is very difficult to retrieve and reposition a wrongly positioned product so if a, if product is successful in the minds of the customer then it is easy to reposition but if it is not placed accurately then it is very difficult to retrieve and reposition so thank you for listening to the video so please like share and press the bell icon and subscribe the channel to get the new videos thank you